This piece was inspired by these infinity cube tables that I've been seeing pop up all over the internet. I wanted to take this same concept and apply it to a more complex shape so that I could, I don't know, torture myself. The infinite hourglass, as I'm calling it, is made of 24 pieces of solid steel square bar welded end to end at specific compound angles, making a continuous loop. There's essentially three angles that we're going to be dealing with in various combinations. 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and 50.5 degrees. I don't have any precision tools for measuring angles, so I've 3D printed some guides specific to this job. This one has an angle of 50.5 degrees, compounded by a rotation of 45 degrees. After cutting out all of the pieces, we started assembly by welding together the six angles that point toward the center of the hourglass. Two of these are just 90 degrees, which is easy to set up with my frame clamps. The remaining four, however, need to be exactly 95.5 degrees, so again I designed and 3D printed some guides to help us get it right. I actually kind of fudged these angles in the design just to simplify things. Here we have a 45 degree angle made into a 50.5 degree angle, which means they have slightly different cross sections at the joint. It's such a small difference that it isn't noticeable once it's welded. In fact, I don't think you can even see it on camera. The next step was to make two squares, each with one open corner, to make up the top and bottom of the hourglass. These are the last parts of the design that we can weld up independently of the rest of the structure and some sort of a jig, without getting ourselves into trouble. Because the entire design is essentially just a bunch of angles end to end, the small errors made at each joint are compounded with the next one and so on. It would be virtually impossible to just assemble all 24 pieces one at a time and expect the last piece to end perfectly where the first one began. The real challenge of this project is to figure out how to hold all of these pieces together in roughly the correct position at the same time, at least long enough to do some tack welds. Luckily, me and Rob have devised a plan involving a boatload of 3D printed parts and every clamping device we could find in the shop. The key component of our setup is this hub we designed to pull the center of the hourglass into position. It has notches to hold each of the six central angles with the help of a large hose clamp. We made it in two parts, separated with spacers, to allow for some adjustment and so that it can be removed after everything is welded together.
These corners where the angle pieces meet the flat base are another place where I fudged the design. There's no way these joints could fit together cleanly because they just have different cross sections. It's hard to see on camera, but I'm just pushing the overhang to the outside so I can grind it off later and blend them in. At this point the hourglass was still a little wonky, but we were able to persuade it to stand straight with a ratchet strap and some angle iron before we fully welded the joints. At this point we finished the design but it's still too flexible to be useful as a table or even really to hold its shape. So we decided to weld in four small pins of cold rolled steel to make it more rigid. After finishing the steel with gun blue solution and shellac, the last step was to cut a glass top from some scrap that we had lying around. It didn't go as smoothly as I'd hoped, but in the end it worked out. I'm going to add some plans for this build to the video description in case anyone else wants to suffer through this project, and I'm hoping that someone smarter than me will come up with a better way to accomplish this, or maybe create some other shape inspired by this concept. If you do, tag me in your video description so I can check it out. Thanks for watching.